Hi guys, today we're on the way to Z-Rock Dermatology and what are you gonna do to me? <laughs> He's getting some scrotox. talks. My friend's gonna give me some scrotox. talks. <laughs> uh, these balls are gonna be big, saggy, and delicious. We're gonna paralyze that scrotum. Yeah. Oh, and please ignore my disgusting mustache throughout this video. I wasn't able to, able to shave today. Also, my friend has a nasty mustache today, too. He just got his lasered. <laughs> Not sure of the science side behind Botox and how it works. All I know is it makes you hotter. So do you want to give them some info? Yeah, so a lot of people get confused with how Botox works on the scrotum because they think that it's only for um, reducing wrinkles. But the truth is that it's all it does is paralyze the muscle. So when you do it in the face, it paralyzes your muscles so that you don't make the facial expressions that make those wrinkles. So by doing it in your scrotum, it's not like your balls are gonna suddenly lose wrinkles. They're just gonna hang lower because you're paralyzing the scrotum from bringing your balls closer to your body. And then you're gonna have some really saggy, big balls. You know when you like, your balls are cold so they get smaller and like suck up close to your body. That's what we don't want. <laughs> we want them to be <laughs> loose and hanging. <laughs> and that's what the Botox does, basically. I've gotten so much backlash when I got um, the Botox in my forehead. And I think people don't really understand how it works. They were saying I was too young and that my face will build up a resistance. And when I'm older, it won't be able to hold itself together, which is not true. Do you want to elaborate? Yeah, that is an entirely false belief because what happens when you don't have... Oh man, I look bad. <laughs> I look pretty nasty too. <laughs> I'm looking gnarly today. <laughs> but what happens if you keep making these weird muscles, or these facial expressions and getting those lines, eventually you'll those lines will be static and you'll have these permanent creases in your face. So by paralyzing the muscle early on, you won't make those, those um, wrinkles and then you won't develop those static lines in the future. I feel like you can't even tell I got Botox. Now as for, I've heard fillers like different though. Everyone says different things. Like some people, I got filler in my chin and I really like the results, but I don't know. I was reading some articles that scared me because they say it like stretches your skin and it will cause wrinkles. But then other people say that it builds collagen when you get it injected from harming the skin. So I feel like it's that's not like a fact or anything. It's just different. Yeah. I think for opinions. sure it, it, you can start getting fillers too early. Yeah. Because um, I think there is some truth to it stretching um, out your skin. I mean, depending on how much you get. But um, there's also, it's also 100% true that after you get it, it does, when your body breaks down the, the hyaluronic acid, it starts um, producing collagen. So when they say fillers only last about six to 12 months, that's not entirely true. Cause even after all the filler has been broken down, you will have some res residual collagen that has been made um, during the degradation process of the product. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna fuck those brains. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Zaraga's car. <laughs> oh. We're coming in through the back because we're special. Oh! Oh! Numbing cream on my sack. <laughs> it's not a pleasant feeling getting needles stuck into your sack, so <laughs> a little numbing cream is definitely necessary. Is the doctor supposed to be touching my butthole? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so look at where uh, the muscles are pulling. So if you're trying to get it to go lower, where are you going to inject? Yeah, so you want to do it all around here. You want to go all, all the way up and down, all the way up and down. But then you need to make sure that you get underneath because otherwise it's going to pull from underneath uh, when he gets cold or whatever when he's at. Um, what do you mean, like from the back? Of the so, like, uh, 
down below. So that you're gonna majority of it is gonna be here because that's the that's the front part that we really care about. Mm -hmm. But you are gonna come all the way down to the to around the base okay. uh, where the testicles hang. So <laughs> now the way that you're gonna do this is you're gonna spread it out because obviously these needles are gonna dull. So you have ten per side. It's a hundred units. So um, you're going to put tiny tiny little aliquots uh, all the way uh, down the. I start in the medium. At least it's not like deep though. No, I feel like Botox like never really like it never yeah. hurt my forehead. It didn't. It doesn't hurt. It's very it superficial, <laughs> especially with the knife. Okay. Uh, in between each uh, it doesn't hurt at all. Injection. That's why I love this numbing cream, and that's why it works so well when you're uh, when you leave it on for an hour. Yeah, that's about how long you have to on. I really mm -hmm. don't feel anything. Um, so yeah, that's all you do. Literally just tiny little aliquots. Of course, Ooh. if you find any veins. <laughs> Uh, just try to avoid them. Yeah. But... Oh, <laughs> that one, sorry. I didn't mean to squirm so yeah, much. It's it's fine. I'm wondering so... if, uh, if uh, the numbing cream didn't quite make it here. Something like that. Yeah, I feel a little bit more. It doesn't... But it's fine. So are you not worried, like, you don't need to move the testicle all the way? Um, you're not. It's... You're nowhere near that deep. Looks like I <laughs> Jizz all over your chin. Mm hmm. Yep, I bet it does. <laughs> what would happen if you got Botox in your vein? Nothing. You'd be fine. Really? As long as you don't, like. Well, as long as you don't have to hold that. No. The, the, the number of units that we're using is so, are so low mm -hmm. that it's not going to be. You're just waste it? Yeah. Your body would just metabolize it. It didn't hurt at all. I'm just really tense because it's my balls, you know? Right. <laughs> it's just like nerve wracking. More of a mind fuck than I think so, yeah. Because most of them, I'm not even feeling it. Just pressure. It's just like nothing, really. Every once in a while, there's like a spot that isn't done, though. It's always one prick. Yeah. <laughs> Down, nothing to worry about. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think we jumped up there. You didn't know that, really. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the day after I got Scrotox and I just wanted to do a follow-up. So the procedure itself was pretty painless. I just think I missed some spots on my balls when we were putting the numbing cream on. So some areas did hurt a little bit, but I just think it's because I didn't have enough numbing cream. Um, so I got this done at Z-Rock Dermatology with Dr. Zaraga. He's really great. He does all my skin stuff for me and I'm gonna show a before and after picture on my OnlyFans however I can't put the link on YouTube so down in the description I'm going to link my Twitter account and on Twitter um, it has the link to my OnlyFans I'll also have my Instagram down in the description if you want to follow me also let me know in the comments if you would get Scrotox or if you think I'm just fucking crazy, I read all the comments, so let me know. And yeah, so the procedure, it went pretty good and um, it takes about two weeks for it to kick in fully. So that's when I'll put up the before and after picture. And I mean, today I just have like a little bit of bruising, nothing bad though.